So lately, I've gotten a lot of questions about Drupal search engine optimization. And while you probably know that SEO is mostly about content, image sizes, page speeds, and things like that, well, of course, there's a module to help you get all of that done. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk today about the SEO checklist. It's a great little module. It doesn't actually do anything except take you through a checklist of all of the things you can do to make your Drupal site more search engine optimized. Let's take a quick peek. I'm over here at the project page. It's SEO underscore checklist. So a couple of things about this. It's from Volachi, a Drupal company. They've kept it up to date, which is really awesome. You will get prompts a few times to purchase not only their book, but also their meta tag manual, which is actually pretty good as well. So I'd encourage you to check that out at least. But even if you don't purchase the two PDFs or the two books that you can get, the SEO checklist is still really helpful. Here it is on a demo site that I've got. And you'll see it's broken down into a bunch of vertical tabs, starting with the getting started. And there's that first promo to get their book. And again, I'm not promoting the book, although it is quite helpful. And I would recommend it if you're really looking for help getting certain things set up in Drupal, like the meta tag module. All right, here we go. Be efficient. They recommend the coffee module, which gives you Alfred style quick shortcuts to get anywhere you want in your Drupal site. Of course, the admin toolbar, composer, and drush. I'm just assuming you have those. But here's where it gets important. Clean URLs. I have actually enabled those. I've enabled the redirect module. I've configured the redirect module. So as you go through these steps, you actually have to check off that you've done it. Just because you do it, it doesn't automatically update for you. I've also done the path auto module for human friendly URLs. Path auto patterns, really helpful. and file field paths module. Again, there is documentation at all of the links here going back again to their Drupal SEO guide. Part two is all about meta tags. The meta tag module is a must have for any Drupal site that's looking to do search engine optimization at a serious level. It really is helpful, but it's a beast. And of course, they do offer a meta tag module help guide, and it's probably worth getting if you're not really super familiar with how that works. They recommend an XML sitemap module, the robots TXT module. You get the idea. There's a whole bunch of recommendations. Now, you don't have to do all of them, but they are all designed to help you get better SEO results. Optimizing your content via easy breadcrumbs, advanced link module, the sitemap module, search 404 module, and more. They do recommend the real-time SEO Drupal module, which is based on Yoast. And actually, it's really, really helpful as well. And a number of other modules like Diff, Scheduler, and others. Security and performance, mobile and social, and then a quick text about learning more and giving back. So search engine optimization, like I said earlier, is mostly about content, page speed, not having images that are two megabytes, please use proper image styles. But the SEO checklist module takes that a step further, giving you a bunch of tools to make sure that your site is search engine optimized. Nothing takes the place of great content, but at least you'll be well on your way to making sure your Drupal site is ready to go. Well, thanks for hanging out a little bit today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. Would you like, subscribe. We release new content every week and we'll see you next time.